Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at the controversial execution of overseas Filipino worker Jakatiwa Pawa in Kuwait. Born in 1963 in Zamboanga, Sibgue in the Zamboanga Peninsula region in Mindanao, Jakatiya Pawa was a high school graduate who gained a bachelor's degree in banking and finance from the Zamboanga Arturo Eustaquio College in Zamboanga City. She was one of four siblings and had a sister and two brothers. One, Angaris Pawa, was a lieutenant colonel in the Philippine Air Force, and her second brother, Waris Pawa, was a police officer. Her first child was born in 1999, and her second child was born in 2001. Working in the finance industry, Pawa knew that she could make more money as a domestic worker in the Middle East, and left in 2002 to work in Kuwait. She worked for a family in al Kawin district in the south of Kuwait City. On the 4th of May 2007, the 22-year-old daughter of her employer, Dala Al-Naki, was found stabbed to death in her bathroom with 28 stab wounds. Pawa was arrested with no lawyer or interpreter available to her until a lawyer was provided by the Embassy of the Philippines in Kuwait. On the 13th of April 2008, the Kuwaiti Court of First Instance found her guilty and sentenced her to death. In 2013, the Court of Cassation, the Kuwaiti Appeal Court, upheld her verdict. This was despite a lack of motive, with Pawa's contract renewed after 2007 and no DNA found. She also had a strong relationship with her employer's daughter. Pawa maintained that her employer had killed Al-Naki, with her parents finding out that their daughter had been entertaining a male neighbour inside her room, who was not her fiancé, which was considered harmful and sinful in Kuwaiti society. Additionally, a man's pair of underwear was found in Al-Naki's bedroom. Vice President of the Philippines, Noli de Castro, travelled to Kuwait in an attempt to save Pawa's life, but to no avail. Al-Nakai's family was not interested in receiving blood money under DIA, under Sharia law, from the Department of Foreign Affairs in the Philippines, which could have spared Pawa's life. At 5am on the 25th of January 2017, Pawa was informed that she would be executed that day and immediately telephoned to her brother Angaris, informing him of her impending fate and asked him to take care of her two children. She was executed at 10.19am on the 25th of January 2017. The government of the Philippines was criticised for not doing enough to save Pawa's life, but it insisted that it had done all that it could. Pawa's corpse was brought to a prayer hall, then to a Kuwaiti cemetery, and following entombment, was buried in the public cemetery in Sulay Bikat in Kuwait on the 26th of January 2017, within 24 hours of her death in accordance with Islamic law. On the 23rd of March 2017, Pawa's children and her sister visited her grave in Kuwait for the first time, accompanied by Hassan Jumadin, the director of the Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration. The Philippine government provided financial assistance to Pawa's family and her children were provided with scholarship grants. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.